Don't make the same mistake that I did. You, of course, get 300 credits at the start of Far Cry 6, which you can exchange for one of the special weapons in the store. But I chose the worst one of them all. So I want to go over all of them in this video and tell you why one is clearly the best option so you don't make the same mistake. And don't worry, by the way, if you already spent those credits, there's totally still a chance that these weapons might show up at Lola's Black Market in the future. I also want to touch a bit on the overclock mechanic and way more. So, of course, if you like the Far Cry content on the channel, leaving a like on the video shows your support would really help me out. And let's go. Congrats to Gary for winning the first Far Cry credits giveaway for 2,300 credits. I will reach out to you via the email and already started a brand new weekly giveaway, which you can enter via the link in the pinned comments. Of course, you have to be a subscriber of the channel if you want to participate, and we'll be announcing the winner next week. There are currently four of these special weapons for sale in the Far Cry store for 300 credits. So you can just pick one if you still have the credits from the start. And these special guns are mostly variants of existing weapons you can find in the game, but with a pretty cool skin. Only the Serenity is a bit more interesting because that's a special variant of the PO8 pistol, which is not customizable in the game yet. Like the only PO8 pistol we have right now is a unique variant you get near the end of the game from a main mission. This one comes with armor piercing rounds, some pretty decent mods. It's overall a pretty nice gun, but this store variant actually has four attachment options. So you can also put a silencer on it, a scope, and a choose which mods you want to use, which is already way better. Still though, this PO8 in general gets outclassed by the P226 in almost every way. Mostly the faster fire rate, the magazine size is of course better, but sure, that P226 is also a weapon you get near the end of the game. I did show you the 1911 though in my previous video, which I will link to in the video description. And this weapon also comes pretty close to the Serenity. So basically, there are already decent alternatives which you find early on in the game, the 1911, or better alternatives you get near the end of the main story. It kind of changes when you unlock the Overclock mod on the Serenity, because yes, after getting an Overclock weapon, you first have to unlock the mod with Gunpowder and Industrial Circuits, before you can benefit from the extra damage, making it a bit harder to get the damage buff early on in the game. Which kind of makes sense because these weapons are more end game anyways. And with that overclock mod, we do see that the Serenity outclasses the other sidearms in terms of damage. Although, as I said before, stealth silencer headshots are one hit kills anyways. So, do you need the extra damage on a sidearm? Not really. So, unless you're a big fan of the BO8 and want to customize it, this variant is not worth it. And I hate to break it to everyone, including myself, but after doing extra research for this video and being able to compare stats, we can conclude that the Cartomancer is not worth it either and actually the worst option of the weapons you can buy right now. I was like, this skin looks amazing. Dennis noted that he kind of got Destiny vibes and I totally agree with that. Like, I don't mind if these weapon skins get a bit crazy as long as we're not getting Mars guns from the Far Cry 5 DLC because those completely broke the game. No, but again, after looking more into it and being able to compare the stats to the KSG, which is basically the same shotgun, only this one, can be earned in FND caches or maybe even bought in Defender. We see that the stats are identical, only that the regular KSG has more damage than this store variant. So yes, the store variant is worse than the weapon you can find in the game. Sure, you can upgrade the damage of this Cartomancer by unlocking the Overclock mod, but then the damage is only a tiny bit more compared to the big increases you will see for all the other weapons. So really the overclock mod is more to get it almost on the same level instead of significantly increasing the damage of the regular KSG. Okay, to be fair, there are special MK2 versions of mods you can only put on these overclocked weapons that are totally better than the regular mods. So there's still an upside in using this KSG over the other. But yeah, all the 300 credits weapons that I mentioned in this video 
have these better mods. And I totally think that it's not intended that the damage is lower than the regular KSG. So maybe they will change it. Overall, it's a great shotgun, by the way, thanks to the 15 bullet magazine. So sure, that means that the reload time is pretty long. But you can, of course, also use that sidearm reload tactic I've showed you many times before by putting the reload all weapons mods on your sidearm. But yeah, in short, just use the regular KSG shotgun and save those credits for not the White Lotus, but the weapon after that. I do want to touch on the White Lotus, though. That's the sniper that is for sale for 300 credits. It's the best sniper in the game, but right now, at the time of this recording, in Lola's shop, you can get the Eastern Front, which is exactly the same weapon, but with a different skin. And yeah, you can interchange the skins between the rifles, but again, it's the best sniper in the game, period. It has an amazing fire rate for a rifle, so just aim and pick the enemies off one by one. The reload is quite decent, too. There are a lot of options for attachments, silencers, scopes, even a sight on the side if you want. Although you can of course also use the regular scope for close range kills. And if you unlock the overclock mod, it becomes the highest damage sniper in the game. Although everything I just said applies to that Eastern Front sniper as well. And you can just buy that for a thousand moneda at Lola's Black Market at the time of this recording. So totally grab that instead and save those 300 credits and I, by the way did a video on how to very easily get unlimited moneda which you can watch also via the link in the video description if you watch this later though and the easter front is not in lola shop anymore then it's totally worth getting the white lotus sniper instead if you're looking for an amazing sniper now but the best pick all around at the time of this recording is the hammer of the gods lmg maybe inspired by assassin's creed valhalla or like the norse mythology in a way looking at the design and the name it's an alternative version of the regular rpd which a rank 1 lmg which you can just find in fnd caches or buy at a vendor but yes that weapon only has one mod slot and it can only hold a pointer next to different bullets while the hammer of the gods has two extra options a slot for a scope and for a silencer and especially the compensator you can put in that muscle socket is a game changer like this the hammer of the gods with that compensator it's way more manageable than the recoil on the regular rpd without that attachment now of course we're not doing anything to combat the recoil but if we now do our best you do see that it's still pretty hard to kind of aim with this gun while with the hammer of the gods there's no issue whatsoever Armor piercing rounds on this bad boy is insane, cleaning up enemies very easily. Also interesting is that the base damage of the Hammer of the Gods is already more than the regular RPD by quite a lot. But you can then increase that even more with the Overclock mod. And then it suddenly becomes the rank 1 LMG with the highest damage in the game if we compare it to the other ones that are available and i'm sure that this changes when we have the overclock variants of the mg42 for example hopefully they arrive through lola not only in the far cry store that would kind of ruin the end game and i want to talk more about the end game by the way in a future video I share my impressions and kind of explain all the systems so totally subscribe if you haven't already for way more far cry 6 content a lot of other videos are coming your way too and on the channel already a like on the video would really help me out. And check out that previous video going a bit more in depth on Lola's system and some moneda earns. For now, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.